So the intern has two brilliant Hollywood heavyweights in it, which is absolutely fantastic, but does the storyline match the cast credibility? Let's find out. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Lifestyle Critic, I hope you're doing well. So in this video we are going to be reviewing The Intern, which is a bit of a likeable comedy drama movie but it's also pretty vanilla as it just doesn't do that much with the premise. I mean it's centred around a 70 year old retiree who is really bored of retirement and so applies for a senior internship at an online fashion company and strikes an unlikely friendship with the owner who is called Jules. Now it is directed by Nancy Myers who also directed The Parent Trap and What Women Want and also produced the first two Father of the Bride movies and also directed the somewhat third movie Father of the Bride Part 3-ish. And like I said you know it is a watchable movie it will definitely put a smile on your face but I just feel like they could have done so much more with the premise of this movie and with the brilliant cast that they had in this film as well and I'm going to be breaking it all down for you in this movie review. So the storyline of The Intern is focused on a 70 year old widower and retired executive character called Ben who like I said before is really bored of retirement and so applies for an internship at a growing online e-commerce fashion company about the fit and over there he is working directly with the CEO who is called Jules and she is a little bit skeptical of him at first but he is able to win her over and also forges a really great friendship with this character as well. The film then explores this dynamic. It also explores some romantic storylines for both of the lead characters, not with each other but with other characters and other partners and it also explores whether or not the Jules character really can balance everything successfully. So from a positive point of view, the reason that I like this film is that it really does inspire you to be able to create your own successful online e-commerce business as you're able to see that the Jules character was able to do this really successfully so you can kind of role model behaviour her to be able to do it yourself. Also, it really does explore real and relatable challenges. All of the different characters are experiencing something different and you are able to resonate with them, which is really, really great. And also, it's just a bit of a light-hearted, easy-watch movie which is really, really great. However, from a negative point of view, the light-heartedness of this movie can come across as a little bit boring at points. And also, they just could have done, like I said before, so much more with the premise of this movie and with the talent that they had on hand in this film. But you know, that being said, it is pretty decent from a storyline point of view. They just could have pushed it so much further. <laughs> So the cast and characters of The Intern are really, really great. They've got some great supporting cast in this movie, but also the two main lead actors do a really, really good job in this movie. So let's go through them one by one. So first up, of course, we have Robert De Niro, who is playing the Ben character. He's really, really well-mannered, really, really dependable, and really, really hardworking. And actually, I really like the relationship that he has with the Jules characters. You can really believe the fact that this is a really older character, but still he is able to respect everything that Jules has developed in her business which is really really great. Also from a co-worker's point of view it's really nice to kind of see how this character is interacting with all of the other staff members as he is definitely a father figure and is always giving advice to everybody in the office. I mean there are a couple of gags that they make fun of in terms of his age. For example he's not knowing how to switch on an Apple Mac laptop but you know that being said they also show that he is actually able to bring a lot of other skills to the workplace which other people are able to learn from which is really really great. Next up we have Anne Hathaway who is playing the Jules character. She is incredibly driven and incredibly passionate about her business but also she is a really nice boss and you're able to see that people really respect her and stay with the company as she is just such a formidable and great leader. Like I said you know she does have some real and relatable challenges. For example is she really able to balance everything for example her work life and her personal life and also at work because of the fact that her business has grown so much she might need some extra help from a CEO perspective which really does add a lot of challenges in terms of whether or not she is willing to give up the control that she has of her brand that she has grown to the position that is in right now which I think is really really interesting. We also have Renee Russo in this movie as well who is the love interest character towards Robert De Niro's Ben character. She doesn't really do that much in this movie but you definitely get to see a different side to Ben through this character and so from a cast and character's point of view they're actually pretty decent in The Intern. So the visuals in The Intern are very very stripped back. I mean it's very much focused on a startup in a warehouse in Brooklyn 
and the way in which it's filmed you really are able to immerse yourself in this little world and you really do feel like you're in this e-commerce startup culture through the visuals which are really really great at the same time you're able to see the lifestyle of both the Jules character and Ben and because actually they've both been very wealthy and successful in their careers both of their mansions look absolutely amazing and just seeing the lifestyle of the Jules character as a CEO like I said before is really really inspiring and so from a visuals point of view I do feel like the intern is actually pretty successful. So from a comparison point of view of course there's loads of movies set in the business world both from a dramatic point of view as well as from a comedic point of view so I'm going to compare it to a few of them so I do think this movie is a lot stronger than The Delivery Man and Unfinished Business however I don't think is as strong as Obsessed, Meet the Parents, The Internship and Like a Boss so I feel like this movie is safely in the middle. <laughs> So overall, I would say with The Intern, you know, it's got a brilliant cast and it's a really enjoyable and watchable movie that will definitely put a smile on your face. I do feel like they definitely could have pushed this movie so much further, both from a dramatic point of view as well as from a comedic point of view, especially as the premise and the cast attached to this movie are so brilliant. But, you know, that being said, for what they did do, it is pretty decent. But like I said, right in the beginning, it is pretty vanilla. And so for all of those reasons, I'm going to give it a five out of 10. I'd love to hear what you think so please let me know in the comment section below otherwise I look forward to seeing you in my next video.